This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Spielberg-owned Super Yacht Seven Seas listed for sale. So Steven Spielberg has put his uh, Super Yacht Seven Seas up for sale. It's an 86 meter yacht built by Oshenko and uh, it was delivered in 2010. And it's been put up for sale for the first time. He's the, he's the only owner, so he, he, he had it built. So the press release, funnily, it says uh, it can hold enough fresh water and fuel to allow it a range of uh, 5,200 nautical miles, more than enough for a transatlantic crossing. It's just a peculiar way of saying it. In actual fact, it's not good, they're not going to hold enough fresh water for a whole crossing. They're going to fill up the water tanks uh, in port, and then as soon as they leave, they're going to start to produce water on board with RO plants or reverse osmosis, and they'll keep those tanks topped up. So they don't carry, it's not like fuel where they, you fill up and you carry it all the way. It's like you keep making new water. It also comes with two custom uh, tenders. One of them is a nine meter open sport boat, and the other one is a limousine tender, which is the one that they use when they want to go ashore or they want to bring guests on board. Uh, onboard amenities include swimming pool, uh, two spas, not one, but two, a glass elevator and a screening room, of course, Steven Spielberg, right? Uh, CCTV system includes a, a pirate protection unit, whatever that is. And, uh, and, it, and it says it has compre com comprehensive smart home uh, technology, that includes audio-visual systems, lighting, climate, and window treatments via an iPad, which is completely standard on all boats now. And then it says the primary suite has a private deck. So generally, they call it the owner's deck, although the owner owns the whole boat, right? <laughs> the rumor is uh, that, that Spielberg used the vessel to travel to places that he filmed movies in in the past, such as Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones, Empire of the Sun. So some of the destinations included North Africa, China, and Hawaii, which is quite interesting. Steven Spielberg said that he didn't realize how much he would love being a super owner when he, when he got his first vessel. And as a result of that, now he wants to go bigger. Now, I would have loved to have been in the room when he said the words, you're gonna need a bigger boat. So Motor Yacht 7 Seas is for sale for 131 million euros. All right guys, the next story is ESPN has confirmed the sale of the Fedship Super Yacht, Motor Yacht Faith. So Faith previously owned by billionaire and Bond villain, Lawrence Stroll. Chairman of Aston Martin Racing, uh, Formula One. Yeah. And he's also the father of Lance Stroll, who drives an F1 car. And yes, you guessed it, for Aston Martin Racing. So uh, Stroll bought the 97 meter super yacht, I, I believe not long after it was built, uh, I'm not sure whether he bought it while it was still in build or just after it was delivered. But he's owned it pretty much since the beginning. He had a refit on it. So I think it was already completed because he refitted it after he bought it. The new owner is believed to be Michael Latifi, who's another Canadian, although he was born in Iran. Uh, he's a Canadian, he owns the Safina Food Company. And if you're Canadian, you'll know this food company. And he is also the father of a Formula One driver, Nicholas Latifi. And he, he drives for the Williams F1 team. And guess who sponsors Williams? <laughs> yes, Safina Food Company. But Lawrence Stroll is building a new boat, but he's only building an 80 meter, only building an 80 meter with Oshenko. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so he's gone from a 97 meter to an 80 meter. How will he cope with such a small boat? <laughs> uh, and the last um, thing I wanted to talk about, it's not really a news story, uh, but I, I got uh, an email from a chap. I don't remember his name, unfortunately. I think his name was John. 
and he, he asked me about a boat called Bravo Eugenia. And he was asking me about the fact that he looked at it and he saw that there were no anchors. And he wondered how they were operating this vessel. And then he started to talk about uh, dynamic positioning. So dynamic positioning is basically a system on board that controls the vessel's position in the water and it uses, um, it uses a gyro for heading and GPS for location. And you can basically set the vessel in a position, still position, and it will keep the boat there but using the thrusters and using the engines to keep the vessel in that same position. So if you're in you know, high winds and stuff and the vessel keeps drifting around, you can use dynamic positioning to move the vessel into a position and hold it in that position. However, you wouldn't be able to use that when you went into port. If you went in and docked, uh, and very often when, you, when, a, when a yacht docks, it uses its anchor, which doesn't sound, it sounds uh, unusual. Maybe if you're not familiar with, with the maritime industry, you think that when a vessel docks, it just ties ropes and, uh, and that's it. But what actually happens is along with the lines that they put on, um, they also drop, very often drop the anchor when, especially when the vessel is docked stern to. So as the, as the vessel is reversing into the dock, when it's still quite a way out, they'll drop the anchor, maybe even two anchors, and then they'll reverse into that dock and then they'll pull the anchors out, you know, the, the chains tight, and then they'll lock them in position. That holds the front of the vessel, the bow of the vessel in that position, stops it from moving left and right. On Bravo Eugenia, the owner didn't like to see anchors. So he said, I don't want that. I want you to come up with a system so we don't have to look at the anchors. So what they did is they made a, um, they made a hatch under the waterline where the anchors come out of, of, a, of a door and they go down like that. So you don't ever see the anchors, but they do have anchors. I don't know whether they have two, but they, have, uh, they do have an anchor, uh, at least one anchor. So that is how they do it. Um, they don't, they, they have to have an anchor. If you've got any questions about the stories we did today, uh, put them down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the sale of uh, Moti Yacht Faith. It is quite a beautiful vessel, as you've seen in the pictures I've been shown, the videos I've been shown. That was shot in Barcelona, by the way. Um, I don't think I would have sold it, but you know, you never know. Maybe you got an offer he couldn't refuse, right? All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.